Here I've got a nice and quick number theory problem for you. So we want to show that x squared plus y to the fifth equals 2015 to the power 17 has no solutions for integer values x and y. And we're going to use two pretty standard tools involving modular arithmetic. The first is called Fermat's Little Theorem. It says that if a prime p does not divide a, then a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. And then there's this other kind of fact. I don't think it has a name. But that says that x squared congruent to 1 mod p only has solutions x congruent to plus or minus 1 mod p. So we'll make use of both of these. Keeping in mind that we probably like to use for Little theorem, you might think, well, what primes should we work mod? And that really has to do with the exponents that we see right here. So are any of these exponents one less than a prime or something similar? Well, in fact, two is one less than three. So maybe our first guess would be to work mod three. But I'll let you check. Working mod three is not super helpful here. So I'll just put that not helpful. So next we would maybe look at the exponent 17. But 17 is one less than 18. That's not a prime nor can we do anything to maybe make it act close to it being a prime. But maybe five will work. So five is one less than six, that's not a prime. But notice that five times two is 10, which is one less than 11, which is a prime. And so that gives us some motivation to work mod 11. Like I said, if we work mod 11, that means that y to the 10 is gonna be congruent to zero or one modulo 11. So it's going to be 0 mod 11 if y is congruent to 0 mod 11, and it'll be 1 mod 11 otherwise by Fermat's little theorem. But if y to the 10 is 0 or 1 mod 11, now if we view y to the 10 as y to the 5 squared, and we can apply our fact to see that this means that y to the 5 is congruent to zero or plus minus one mod 11. So that's actually gonna be pretty helpful. Another thing that we'd maybe like to do is look at all of the perfect squares mod 11 since we're dealing with this x squared term. So let's look at those. So this is a table of values of x and values of x squared, but we're reducing mod 11. So here we need to look at zero, one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, we don't have to look any further because six is minus five, but minus five squared is gonna be the same thing as five squared. So this will give us all the perfect squares mod 11. So let's see if we can fill this table in. So zero squared is zero, one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, but working mod 11, that is equal to five. Five squared is 25, but working mod 11, that is three. So notice we've got these two facts. We have x squared working mod 11 will be from the set 0, th 1, 3, 4, 5, and 9. But then y to the fifth comes from the set 0, 1, negative 1, which is the same thing as 10 mod 11. So those are the only possibilities for x squared and y to the fifth. Now let's reduce. 2015 to the 17 mod 11 and see what we get. So 2015 is not divisible by 11, so that means we can use Fermat's little theorem. So here we have 2015 to the 17. So that's gonna be the same thing as 2015 to the power of seven times 2015 to the power 10. But working mod 11, this is congruent to one mod 11 because we have 10 is one minus 11 or 11 minus one. So now we just have to look at this. So if we reduce 2015 mod 11, I'll let you guys check, but you get two. So that means this is congruent to two to the seven mod 11. But now if you calculate two to the seven mod 11, you'll see that that is the same thing as two to the four times two cubed. But two to the four is 16, but 16 is five mod 11, so this is congruent to five times. Two cubed is eight, but that's gonna be congruent to 40. But 40 is congruent to seven mod 11 because it's seven more than 33, which is a multiple of 11. And now what we try to do 
is add one element from this set and one element from this set to get something that's congruent to 7 mod 11, but we see that that is impossible. There is no way to add these two together to get 7 mod 11, and that's a good place to stop.